stone coping on a vinyl pool. <clears throat> Hi, I'm installing blue stone coping, 18 inches wide by two inches thick around an amoeba shaped vinyl liner pool that was just installed. Any tips on how not to have the coping loosened with the movement? It's a wide coping and spans the vinyl edge aluminum track and goes beyond it by another eight inches. I was planning on pouring a six inch reinforced slab and laying coping in a polymer reinforced mortar, but should I be using adhesive? Beyond the coping is a full mortared bluestone patio. So I was going to have a soft joint between the coping and patio, but I'm still worried about the coping moving. Appreciate any advice. So what I would do to ensure that you don't have movement is I would pour a collar, a bond beam collar around the top of the pool. And normally when we do it, because we use an awful lot of bluestone on, on virtually every project we do, is on the back of the wall, I'm assuming that this coping that's on the pool is just a, uh, a small bead coping and not a full face. You know how they, I, there's an aluminum track coping that's a, a white face. I'm assuming the coping that you're talking about is just the bead where the liner track slips into and your stone sits on top of that. Hopefully that's what we were talking about here. If that's the case, what I do is I pour a collar around the pool. If you're saying your stone is 18 inches wide, I would pour an 18 inch from the front of the pool steel to the, to the, the back of your stone. I would pour that anywhere depending on depending on what the soil is like but we try to make ours our stone is normally 12 inches wide so we do it 12 inches wide by about a foot deep a foot thick and that's poured right in we use rebar in there and we tie it right in with our deck supports and things and then we just use an adhesive on top of the blue stone in that particular case because we've got our level on top of we're concrete. basically we're Under gluing it down uh, we're, we're gluing the blue stone down to the concrete collar that we've made. And now that becomes part of the pool structure itself because that part of the structure will not move. The patio behind it will. So as long as, as, long as you lock the pool steel and your bond beam together, then you could, you could mud it and mortar it on if you'd like, but you probably don't need to. Just use a really good... Uh, construction adhesive and use lots of it and make sure everything is clean and dry and uh, then you can do your mortar joints between it, between it with normal mortar and you shouldn't have any issue with it moving that much and then at that point you pour your your concrete behind and mud your stone in unless you're dry setting the stones behind it but I, I think you're you're mudding the stones of the patio behind it as well but hopefully that helps I think having a good thick bond beam to put the stone on is going to be your best option though.